So come on in. You're going to first immerse yourself in a courtyard and feel as if you're transported to another world with a lattice rooftop and you've got a water fountain and images of, of courtyards from around the world. Then you can walk through a global marketplace and there are these stalls where you can enter and you get to go fishing and you can pretend play with ceramics and you can roll and unroll Moroccan rugs. I think it's important to teach children at a very early age that they should be enjoying and appreciating other cultures, understanding the differences. And so if certain uh, elements are only reflected in the news, it's important to show them other ways of understanding the cultures in their own way. So we do it through pretend play, we do it through immersive environments and smells and textures. So biases can start very early. Children are very perceptive, and so they're hearing things and seeing things. Sometimes we as adults are not even aware of what they might be hearing and seeing. So with that you know, early intellect, if you will, uh, we want to make sure that we open their eyes to many different perspectives and, and peoples and ways of cultural expression and art and objects. And so if we can do that as early as age three even or five, we can then start to show them and to, to prevent any kind of biases they may have formed. So it's important for me to bring my kids here to get exposed to things that they don't see every day. Well, I, I really value the fact that we can take my son to um, a place like this where he can understand about cultures, understand about history. Um, it's a nice play space, but it's also educational too, So, um, which is nice. It's a nice diversion from TV. I think it's a phenomenal exhibit. It's really wonderful to be inclusive and multicultural and just have um, exposure to so many cultures here in New York City.